An overflow of COVID-19 patients and elective surgeries being put on hold has cost some hospitals millions of dollars. Take Sarasota Memorial, for example. They said revenue dropped by 16 million just last month alone. Now they're cutting hours and temporarily furloughing some of its employees. 10 News reporter Leah Fernandez finds out how this is going to impact their ability to provide health care. Sarasota Memorial took a financial hit with a $16 million drop in revenue this March. This comes after canceling all non-emergent surgeries. The financial troubles are only expected to get worse in April and May. So they're taking measures to save on costs now by cutting hours and furloughing some employees. Of the more than 7,000 employees on staff, more than half work in non-clinical or other areas that have temporarily shut down. It's not clear how much of their staff will be furloughed, but Sarasota Memorial says this will not affect any employees on the front line. And it won't stop them from being able to take care of patients in need. Right now, SMH has tested more than 810 people. 671 of them tested negative for COVID-19. 66 people tested positive, with now a total of five deaths. And 73 results are still pending. After nine of their own employees tested positive for COVID-19, they were sent home to be monitored. A spokesperson for SMH says the measures they're taking are to also keep those non-essential employees safe from exposure. During this temporary leave, Sarasota Memorial says it will maintain employee benefits for at least 90 days. They'll also give employees an extra cushion of PTO, up to 80 hours. 